good old Battlefield 4, King of the Easter Egg. I recently decided to go and collect the Dice LA and the regular Dice camo since I still hadn't gotten around to unlocking them, and certainly the Dice LA camo is worth getting because it makes you almost completely invisible to thermals, making you much harder to see for vehicles like tanks and attack helicopters. And in a minute, I'll show you guys the method I use to do this all by myself. Yes, even after seven years, I find it amazing that there are still things left to do in Battlefield 4. BF4 had lots of awesome easter eggs, and whilst Battlefield Hardline 1 and BF5 definitely had their fair share too, I never feel like they measured up to the scope and intricacy of Battlefield 4's easter eggs. You know, they ranged from small trinkets that you could find hidden on maps to epic, triggerable events like the Hainan Resort ship explosion, or the Goldmud Railway Yeti Cry. Looks like we have a sniper operating east of your position. Objective Foxtrot has been lost. And then of course, there's the famous Megalodon that can be triggered on Nancha Strike. But some of these easter eggs actually rewarded you with in-game items like camos that you can equip or the infamous phantom bow from the phantom prospect achievement. I'd really like to see those kinds of rewards come back again for Battlefield 6. Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, I recently unlocked both the DICE camo and the DICE LA camo, so here's how I did it and what is probably the quickest way possible. First off, the DICE camo is pretty easy, but you will need three other friends to help you get the round started, as this one has to be done on a ranked server once the round has actually begun. So head on over to Paracel Storm and take one of the helicopters over to this big wind turbine. It's the one that gets struck by lightning partway through the round that has the ship stuck to it. Jump off your heli and stand on top of the wind turbine, and then simply wait for the lightning strike to kill you. It happens once the tickets of one of the teams reaches about 50% or so, so to speed this process up if you're playing with friends, get the guys on the enemy team to just whiz round in a helicopter and cap all the flags to make things go faster. Once you've done that, you need to head to one of the two small islands close to E-flag. Find this palm tree, carefully walk up it until you see this light appear in the water, and then snipe it to trigger the easter egg, which will also unlock the dice camo. Now don't worry if you don't see the camo straight away, you'll need to join a new round before it becomes active. Now I went to the island a little further out, closer to E-flag, but as I mentioned, this can also be done from one of the bent over palm trees on the other island as well, and with that one, the light appears close to the sunken carrier on E-flag. Now if you're doing this with multiple people, just bear in mind that whoever snipes the light is the one who unlocks the camo. So if you want to get the camo for somebody else, you're going to have to find a new round where the event hasn't been triggered each time and repeat the whole process. But you don't need to get hit by the lightning each time, so say you got struck by the lightning in the first round, but your friend snipes the light and gets the camo, in the following round there's no need to head onto the wind turbine again, just go straight to the palm tree and wait there until the lightning has struck and then trigger the event. I was doing this with some friends whilst live streaming, so just be careful that you don't get anybody getting bored once they've gotten the camo whizzing round in a helicopter and cutting down the palm tree that you need to stand on to snipe the light. What the hell? Oh, for God's sake, dude. Really? Right, nobody go cutting down trees this time. No cutting down trees. Okay, so what about that pesky Dice LA camo? Well, the good news is that you can do this one alone, but unlike the other camo, this one has to be done on an unranked server where the round hasn't started yet. So head over to Dragon Valley, and at the H flag, you'll find 20 lanterns hanging from the ceiling. Your goal here for the first part of this puzzle is to light up all these lanterns at once. There are seven secret switches hidden around the map, and each one will turn on certain select lanterns, so your goal is to figure out which switches you need to press to have them all lit at the same time. Well, hasn't anybody already figured out which switches I need to press yet, Ghost? Well, yes 
And no, because each new round, the lights that each switch activates is completely randomized, meaning the solution to this puzzle will be totally unique for any set round. On top of that, the code that you get at the end of this puzzle will be unique specifically for your account, and it will only work to unlock the camo for you. Now, before you even start this, go down to the video description and hit up that download link that I left for you guys. It'll give you a small program that will help you with calculating the lights and also deciphering the Morse code later on. Okay, once you've got that installed and you've got the application running, you're good to go. So what you want to do is pick a corner to start counting the lights from. For me, I started with the Northwestern Lantern and I named that one. And then from there on, I just counted up to 20 as I walked around the lanterns in a clockwise fashion. As long as you always start and finish at the same corner, it doesn't really matter which corner it is. Take note of which ones are lit and which aren't and write down the numbers of the lit lanterns separated by commas under where it says default lights. So for me, that was two, 7 and 15. After that you need to go and find the switches. I recommend leaving a MAV at the lanterns so even if you're at a switch you can check the lanterns to see which have been turned on and which have been turned off. So firstly I'll show you where all the switches are. So Temple is very close to the lanterns themselves under this concrete area. Tree is probably the trickiest one. You need to shoot this specific tree to find the button hidden within the stump. Pagoda is hidden up here on the second level of A flag. Furnace is right at the back of C flag inside this building. Pier is down close to River's Edge near the G flag. Waterfall is, you guessed it, submerged underwater close to the waterfall. and rock is overlooking the E flag. I'll go ahead later on once I finish the video and I'll timestamp all of these locations for you guys. So if you're having difficulty finding where the buttons are, you should be able to come back to this video and watch it again. So as you find each button one by one, what you want to do is turn it on, go back to your mav, and then record which lights are now lit for the corresponding button. So take a circle around the lanterns again and record that in your light calculator. And once you've done that, exit your mouth and turn the button back off again. I can't stress this enough. If you forget to turn off one of the buttons and then you continue on to the next one, you're gonna screw up the whole thing. So make sure that you turn it off before you leave. Then you simply rinse and repeat this process for all seven buttons until you've filled out the light calculator. Then simply press run and it should give you the combination of which buttons you need to activate to have all 20 lanterns lit at the same time. So go ahead and turn on those buttons and if you hear this little double bleep, that means you did it correctly. Now once you've done that, over here to the side of each flag, you should find a phantom prospect skull and behind one of these pillars, a keypad has appeared. Enter the code 83 nine eight zero eight zero 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 and the lantern next to you should start flashing a morse code message now it's very important that you enter the code if you're the one who needs the camo because at the end of this string of morse code it will give you a keypad code that is unique to whichever player entered the previous code if that makes sense and that code will only unlock the camo for that player specifically so this is where your morse code decoder is going to come in handy Simply look at the lantern in-game and then click on the brightest part of the light within the decoder and press start. 
it will then interpret the light as Morse code and translate it for you on the fly. Now bear in mind this might take a few minutes, but by the time you've done, you should have your code to unlock your camo and a message that says, to claim your prize, now join a ranked Conquest Large game. Stand at the west side of the shaft of the Northwestern Water Tower for two minutes, then use this individual code there. So once you've got this code, write it down somewhere safe and then exit the game. And this time, head into a ranked server running Dragon Valley Conquest Large. Head over to the base of the water tower at A flag and stand at the western edge for about two minutes or so. Now after a while, a tiny little interactable switch will appear at the bottom. Click on that and you'll activate another keypad. Then import your code that you got from the Morse code message and you'll hear this. Good old Neebs from Battlefield Friends. So once again, exit the game and join a new round, and now you should be the proud owner of your very own Dice LA camo. So there you go, guys. That's how I did it. Hopefully it works for you too. To end here, I'd just like to reiterate how cool all of these Easter eggs were. I was never really one of the main people discovering them or helping to solve them, but it was awesome to watch the Battlefield Easter egg community do what they do best, and you know, I really hope we can see this sort of complexity return in their next Battlefield game. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.